If you want a hollow figure or praline with a perfect gloss and a nice coloring like those eggs here just in front of me, you need to create this mixture of melted cocoa butter and fat soluble coloring. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add 5% of food coloring into the cocoa butter, mix it well, okay? We're gonna sieve this one and we're gonna pre-crystallize the cocoa butter. We're gonna put that on a spray again, okay? Take the form, like this one, this mold, okay? And we're gonna apply by spraying with the spray gun into the mold. We're gonna leave it to set, and then after we're gonna add the chocolate, and you're gonna have the perfect result, like this one. The first step is measuring out the ingredients. For this recipe, you simply need to melt cocoa butter in the microwave at a temperature between 40 and 50 degrees Celsius. When that's ready, add 5% fat-soluble food coloring and mix the two together to create a perfectly homogeneous mixture. Now, before pouring the mixture into the spray and container, I need to sieve it. I always use a sieve with a fine mesh to remove any and all lamps. Otherwise, this will block my spray gun later on. Next, pour the mixture into a piping bag and here is a little trick. Crystallize it by rolling the piping bag around on your worktop. If the final temperature of your mixture is around 31 degrees Celsius, it's ready to go. Now, pour the mixture into the preheated spray gun immediately. Warming up your spray gun will keep the cocoa butter from setting inside the container, so the mixture won't block your spray gun. Time to check the molds now. Make sure they are perfectly clean and dry to avoid any visual imperfection. And then heat them up at 20 degrees Celsius. If the molds are too cold, the spray gun mixture would set too fast, which might lead to a loss of brilliance or dull stains on the finished product. Now, let's give the molds some color. Just spray a thin layer of colored cocoa butter into them and leave them to rest for a couple of minutes at room temperature so the layer of cocoa butter can harden. After setting, you can fill your praline molds with any chocolate you like. And for hollow figures, you can fill the mold with pre-crystallized chocolate. Leave them to set and unmold them. The end result should always be colorful and bright, with a wonderful gloss. If you have some leftover spray and mix, always keep the spray and container in a heated cabinet at around 45 degrees to keep the cocoa butter from setting. Or keep the colored mixture in a separate container in the heated cabinet. That way, you'll always have it at your disposal, ready to use.